Welcome to Share My Lesson. In this video, I'm going to discuss the AMC 2022 Middle Primary Exam Solutions. If you don't have the exam paper, you can download it from the AMP website for free. Let's see how to download the past exam papers. Head to the AMT website with the link provided below and select the year, select the division and place the quantity as one. Add to your cart. I usually download all the division papers and keep them for future reference. Then go to the cart, click checkout, enter your contact info and continue with the payment. But there is no payment because the exam papers are free. Then you get an email from AMT with the download links. Alright. Let's proceed with the solutions. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and join us on this mathematical journey. Your subscription motivates me to create more videos in the future. In this question, you can count the dots row by row. In the first row, there are three dots, and then there are four, then there are five dots, another five, and finally there are five dots. Altogether, there are 22 dots. Hence, the answer is C. In this question, to find the answer, you can simply add 100 to 465. So the answer is 565. Hence, the answer is D. can divide the rectangle into four equal triangles. The shaded triangle makes up one piece out of the four. So the answer is one out of four. And hence the answer is B. There were 17 dogs and 9 ran away, so you can just subtract 9 from 17. This means the answer is 8. So B is the correct answer. He goes up, he goes left once, left twice, and left for the third time. He arrives on the star, so the answer is A. In this question, we want to identify the shape that's not in this picture. There's a rectangle. There's also a triangle. There's an oval.
and there's also a circle. The shape that's missing is a square. This means the answer is D. The first number is 20 and there are 9 numbers to go from 20 to the 10th number. So 2 times 9 which is 18. So our final answer will be 20 plus 18 which is 38. This means the answer is E. There were five students who chose Saturday. There were three students who chose Sunday. So five plus three equals to eight. This means that eight students chose Saturday or Sunday. Hence, the answer is B. The start time is 7.15, the finish time is 8.02, the difference between 8 o'clock and 7.15 is 45 minutes, the difference between 8 o'clock and 8.02 is 2 minutes. So the difference between the start time and finish time is 45 plus 2, which is 47 minutes. Hence, the answer is C. Eddie is a person number four. Louis is fourth from the back, which means that he's a person number 12. And altogether, there are seven people in between them. This means that the answer is A. In this question, you can find the total money by multiplying the quantity of coins by its value. They are 49 10 cent coins, which is equivalent to $4.9. And there are 25 20 cent coins. This is equivalent to $5. You can add them up, which is $9.90. So the answer is B. To find the answer to this question, we can complete the cube by completing it column by column. There are one by two cubes missing in the first column. There are two by three cubes missing in the second column. There are three by four cubes missing in the first column. You can add all of them up to get a sum of 20. This means there is a total of 20 cubes missing. So the answer is E.
The teacher brings 100 stickers. There are 23 students in her class. So we must divide 100 by 23. So each student will get four stickers. 23 times four is equal to 92. So the teacher gives away 92 stickers. This means that there are eight stickers remaining. So the answer is B. We can draw a diagram to visualize the final position of this shape. When you flip it from its right edge, the dot goes to the top left corner. When we flip it from the bottom edge, the dot now goes to the bottom left corner. Only A has this position, so the answer is A. We can use a number line to solve this question. 7 plus a number and 11 minus the same number both must end up at the same point. Halfway between 7 and 11 is 9. So the answer is B. We can use a table to find the age of Sally. When Sally is one years old, her brother will be three. The difference is three minus one, which is two years old. When Sally is two years old, her brother will be six. The difference is six minus two, which is four years old. It will keep on going. Take the scenario when Sally is 5 years old. Her brother will be 5 times 3, which is 15 years old. The difference is 15 minus 5, which is 10. So this means that Sally will be 5 and her brother will be 15 when the difference between the ages is 10. So the answer is B. In this question, we can split this cross into five squares. The first square can be split into eight triangles. You can divide this cross into another four squares. Altogether, there are five times eight tiles needed to cover this cross, which is 40. So the answer is E. We can try different possibilities to find the correct one. We can use 2 and 6 to give a product of 12. This means that we must use 4 and 7, which gives a sum of 11. This leaves the numbers 1, 3 and 5. But there is no pair in between them which subtracts to give 1. Let's try option 2. We can use 3 and 4, which gives a product of 12. 5 plus 6 gives a sum of 11, and that leaves 1, 2, and 7. The pair 2 and 1 subtracts to use 1. 
So the unused card is seven. So the answer is E. Since the light beam travels at a 45 degrees angle, we can draw the path of the beam. As you can see, there are 11 points when the beam bounces off a mirror. So the answer is D. A can plus 30 marbles is equal to 115 grams. A can with 20 marbles is equal to 85 grams. So this means that 10 marbles is equal to 30 grams and one marble is equal to 3 grams. So a can is equal to 115 minus 30 times 3 which is 115 minus 90. So a can is equal to 25 grams. So the answer is C. In this question, we can calculate the amount of ribbon needed by finding how many sides the ribbon wraps around and adding the bow length to it. The ribbon wraps around 8 sides of the box. Each side is 20 centimeters. So 8 times 20 is 160 centimeters of ribbon. Another 80 centimeters is needed to tie the bow. So Peter needs 160 plus 80, which is 240 centimeters of ribbon. This means that the answer is C. We can compare the balances of Hamish and Eliza with the table. In the first week, Hamish gets $12 and Eliza starts off with 32 In the second week, Hamish gets no money, but Eliza gets $4. So the new balance in Eliza's account will be $36. In the third week, Hamish gets another $12. So his balance is now $24, while Eliza gets an additional $4. Her account is now $40. This continues until the 11th week. So in the 11th week, we will both have the same amount of money, which means that the answer is E. We can solve this question by trying the different possibilities. The smallest set of numbers is 1, 2, 3 and 4. The 1 must be the opposite to the 2 and the 3 has to be next to the 2. This is impossible. The next smallest set is 1, 2, 3 and 5. So the 2 has to be opposite the 1 but then the 3 has to be next to the 2. We can try the next smallest total, which is 1, 2, 4 and 5. The 2 is opposite the 1 and the 4 can be placed in the top left corner and the 5 can be placed right corner. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 is 12. 
So the answer is C. To find the answer to this question, let's factorize 280. This is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. The three numbers that we are trying to find must all add up to 21. This means that each of them must be less than 21. The factors of 280 that are less than 21 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 14, and 20. We can create a table to find the three numbers. The three numbers could be 14, 5, and 2. The sum will be 21, however, the product is 140. We can repeat this process until we get a product of 280 and a sum of 21. This happens when the three numbers are equal to 10, 7 and 4. This means that the only solution that has a product of 280 is when the three numbers are 4, 7 and 10. So the answer is C. In this question, we need to have a good visualization of 3D shapes. We can try out the different answers as shown. The two pierced faces can be joined with solid arrows and the joined faces are shown as on the screen. We can try out A, B, C, D and E. Only D has the right orientation of the two pierced faces. So the answer is D. In this question, to find the next number where all the digits are different, we need to increase it by the minimum amount of units. We can't increase the units digit because all the numbers higher than 4 are already used. We can't apply the tens or hundreds digit as all the numbers higher are already used. However, we can increase the one thousands digit from 6 to 7 and use as small amount of numbers as possible for the other three positions. The numbers are 0, 1 and 2. This gives 897,012. To get the answer, we can subtract this number from the original number. This is 258, so we will need another 258 units. So, the answer is 258. To find the answer to this question, we can first find all the three digit numbers that start with 2. There are 19 of these in total. Similarly, there are 19 three digit numbers which start with 4. Finally, there are 100 numbers from 300 to 399 that contain the digit 3. 
all together, they're 19 plus 19 plus 100, which is 138 numbers from 200 to 500 that contain the digit 3. This means that the answer is 138. In this question, we can make the largest possible three digit number by using 9 as the first digit. 9 uses up 6 bars, so the digit sum so far is 3 more than the number of bars used. To make up for this, we need at least one other digit which uses more bars than its own value. The biggest gain from this is by using a zero. So far, there is a total of 12 bars. The digit sum is 3 less than the number of bars used. This allows us to use another 9 to balance the two totals. The digit sum is 18 and the amount of bars used is also 18. So 990 is a number that works. This means that the answer is 990. In this question, we can write a number sequence. The first number would be 1, the second number would be 6, the third number 16, the fourth 36, the fifth 76, and the sixth number would be 156. The sixth number is 56 because we exclude the hundreds digit. The seventh number will be 16. Let's complete the number sequence and remember to exclude the hundreds digit. So the entire number sequence is a cycle of these four numbers, except for the first two digits. We can subtract 2 from 2022 and divide it by 4. 2020 is divisible by 4. There are 505 complete cycles of the four numbers 16, 36, 76, and 56. So the 2022nd term would be 56. The numbers to choose from are the odd numbers from 1 to 105. The smallest sum possible is 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is 9. And the largest is 101 plus 103 plus 105, which is 309. And each sum of the three odd numbers must be odd. We get a number series which starts with 9 and ends in 309, and each term being two more than its previous one. There are 151 terms in this series, so the answer is 151. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and hit the like button and share with those you think will be interested. Please check the description below to find more information including solutions for other AMC exams. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon with a new video.